Now that we've seen the uh, hardware introduction, let's take a look at the software introduction. Applied Biosystems Software is entitled Analyst Software, and here is the, uh, the main screen for Analyst Software. Across the top, there are various toolbars that, that as you uh, get into different modes here, the toolbars will change, as we'll see in just a second. The navigation panel here uh, con consists of the headers configure, tune, acquire, explore, quantitate, and we'll get into each one of these briefly in just a second. The, uh, the, one of the important features is the right here the use of project folders. The project folders are individual folders that can be custom uh, named uh, for, as, it, as the name implies, for individual projects. Uh, it's, it's important to note that in each of these project folders, the, the necessary method files, uh, quantitation files, uh, need to be present for any experiment that is uh, performed while in that project folder. Uh, let's move over to the side here and take a look at the configuration icon. Under that, uh, let's first take a look at the hardware configuration. As Lisa mentioned a little earlier, uh, the instrument can be configured in several different ways. And currently, as you can see, the LC mass spec configuration is what's selected right now. Uh, as Lisa also said, the, you have to deactivate a profile before uh, performing certain uh, maintenance duties on the mass spectrometer. Deactivation is performed simply by clicking on the deactivation. Uh, you can select different, a different profile. For example, if you wish to introduce a sample with a syringe pump, uh, this particular profile can be selected, activated, uh, and then your experiment performed using that particular profile. The report, the report template editor just simply allows you to uh, print a report uh, with different information at different places on the, uh, on the page. Uh, that can be custom made uh, based on what type of report you want. Obviously before any experiments can be performed, the system must first be checked to see if it's in proper tune. Uh, under the tune icon here, there's resolution optimization, quantitation optimization, and manual tuning. Uh, the manual tuning is simply that. It's a check of the, of the uh, mass spectrometer to be sure that the mass assignment, uh, the peak resolution, et cetera, is all, is all, all falls within the necessary criteria. Uh, if it doesn't, then you go to resolution optimization. This is a, an automated uh, method for bringing the system into a proper tune. Quantitation optimization is something that we're going to do later. Uh, this is whereby using the syringe pump we introduce sample into the instrument, right, one particular drug. Uh, the automated software then uh, finds the, the optimal parameters for detection of that drug. That's something that we will be doing also later. Further down, we see that there is the acquire mode. This is for uh, build, number one, building a method, uh, and also for setting up a batch run for introduction of the sample into the system. That's something that we will also do later. What they call the explore mode here is simply for processing experimental data. Quantitation is self-explanatory. This is for generating calibration curves uh, and also for uh, calculating, using those calibration curves for calculating the values of unknowns. 
another feature here that we need to look at is in the explore mode let's open a data file and we'll choose one at random and as you can see uh, let's get rid of this toolbar over here navigation bar when there is a information dependent analysis performed on an experiment this is the screen that comes up on this particular screen you can see the the transition the intensity and we have it set up for the time you can this can be customized as you can view other things as well what we want to take a look at is in order to process any of this data uh, a feature that we have is whatever we have whichever panel we hear here that we have highlighted we can export that into uh, this graph into the explorer mode once in the explorer mode there are a number of other processing uh, things that we can do this is where all the processing of your data uh, occurs so if I right click we can see that we can list data we can show the spectrum and so on down this list right here uh, an important thing may be you wish to look at an extracted ion. We can either choose one or we can choose numerous extracted ions. We can drag this and select. Uh, also, right clicking, we can delete individual panes as we desire. So that's, that's a feature that we use to, for the data processing. And I believe I've covered most everything, haven't I, Lisa? Well, you might want to show them how to activate the overlapping panes function. So if you're going to do multiple extracted ion chromatograms, you don't get 50 on the 50 individual panes on the one screen. I don't understand you. Um, go to Tools and do Settings and... Is it appearance options? It is appearance options. Appearance options. And click on multiple graph options. And that overlay multiple panes under the chromatogram section. You want to, under the chromatogram section. Oh. You want to change that to a yes. So just like a minute ago when we did it, several extracted ion chromatograms. They overlay on top of we'll each other. We'll overlay them on top of each individual other. individual panes. That's a good point. Exactly. Because if you're going to do, if you want to do 10 or 20 extracted ion chromatograms. You don't want 10 or 20 individual paints. So let's open. go back and take a look at how, at how that difference that yeah. made. Again, we're going to look at extracted ions. Let's just choose. You can also use a, it's the control, I believe. A control click to select various ones. rather than being individual panes are now overlapped and also in different colors and if I right click here we can see what each one is this this will this will be something that we cover later uh, in data processing <laughs>